Here on this windswept island, I'm going to treat you today to an Asian-style prawn dish. Here before me, I have the main ingredients. Tiger King prawns, fresh, freshly shelled, ready to go. Over here, a little wok heating up. I need a lot of heat in this. So into the wok, I place a bit of oil. Let that come up to temperature. As that's coming up to temperature, what we're going to do is we're going to season the prawns. Salt, pepper, squeeze of lemon juice, and just a touch of oil. Quick toss, getting them nicely coated, and then over to the wok, and in they go, sizzling away. As they're sizzling away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a stir-fry sweet, you've got a sweet, sour, spicy sauce come marinade, made with palm sugar. A piece of palm sugar. Very sweet, sugar in itself, but has a distinct taste to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to chop this hard palm sugar up, as per se, roughly chop it, into the wok with the prawns. Now what's going to happen here is they're going to start caramelising. These prawns will start caramelising with the palm sugar. And this is when we start to add the rest of our ingredients. OK. A smidgen of garlic. Chilli. Give that a quick stir in. Ah, the smells are ready. The palm sugar is starting to melt and coat the prawns with this distinct sweet taste, which is the taste that we are after. Okay, next, I'm gonna kick them in soy sauce, just in the pan at this point where the prawns are half cooked, and what, what's gonna happen is the kick them in is going to reduce and kind of infuse into the prawn, into the prawn flesh. A bit of mirin, we have used mirin before, it is sweet sake, delicious, it's a Japanese thing. Okay. A bit of wrist action for the prawns before we add the vegetables. Now, what vegetables have I got here? I've got some snow peas, some red capsicums, some uh, spring onions, and a bit of carrot, all in together. Boom, boom. No ceremony, straight in. Stir them around. Let all the flavours coat. See the colours? Oh, the smells. Incredible. A bit more heat, I think. We need a bit more heat. It's a bit windswept out here in the middle of nowhere. But it is cooking Robinson Crusoe style, oriental prawns. Out in the open, fresh air, fresh prawns, and a very, very good looking chef. There we go. What I've just done here is I've added some spinach. Now the trick of this is to keep it moving. Keep it moving and in the pan. Now the spinach is going to start to wilt. The prawns are 90% cooked now. Just going to let that sit for a while. And what I'm going to do here is start to present the dish. Now what I've done, move that palm sugar, is I've cooked some normal jasmine rice and I've put some coconut milk in with it. So what we're going to call this is coconut milk rice. Tip that over. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Rice into the middle. Just centred slightly for presentation. Back to our wok here, please. Now, the vegetables are cooked, the prawns are cooked, and the spinach is wilting. Okay, this is just about done. A quick taste. Oh, beautiful. Okay, now for the presentation. Over to the dish. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and place the green leaves of the spinach and the stir-fried vegetables around the rice. Forgive me, I am a bit messy and I am working under extreme conditions here, but I will endeavour to bring you a succulent, delicious, oriental style prawn dish, sweetened with Mother Nature's finest palm sugar, laced with soy, 
Chili and mirin. A bit down the side there. That over to one side, gas off. Bit of coriander onto the old board. Chop, 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 chop. On top, move that snow pea, we don't want that one. And a squeeze of lemon juice. Tidy up the dish. And there you have it. Succulent Asian prawns, freshly cooked.